We have one of them for 295 now. <laughs> <laughs> that is 300. That is the most uh, productive thing. Yes, it does. Dude, that's a bad 4S battery. Oh. 10, 10 servos. <laughs> Yeah, because I mean, there's too many different videos you want to use. I mean, you got the vector drugs, you got two servos, 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 you got two <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. 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 This is running a new Inrunner 1521 with about 4 kilowatts of power, weighs about 18 pounds. Andrew Jeske designed this plane for us. And this is another precision and 3D hybrid aircraft. These are new aircraft. We don't know how many are going to go electric, but so far, it's about half and half gas and electric gas. Oh yeah, that's one of the raffle prizes this year. One of the last prizes. Also flying Thunder Power 12S 5000. And then the third plane up, third plane up is Andrew Jensen flying his 51 inch AG slick. So it's got a custom covering scheme on it. This is Hacker Outrunner A3012XL powered with Hacker DSD using Futaba guidance and Thunder Power batteries. That's a 3S2600 Pro Light pack. <laughs> All of these aircraft are 3D and precision capable. The little snake is 51 inches, weighs about 55 ounces. The 250cc sized airplane. I guess we still have to call about a minute left, guys. So it was a lot of, lot of interest and a lot of activity in the really big electric right now. And of course, Andrew's signature snap to hover. The little snake there was actually introduced at Snap here one year ago, and it's been really, really popular. Lane? going to be demonstrating a UAV that's in use in Iraq and Afghanistan right now. And Lane, you're supposed to have the plane out here and ready to go, man. Look at the time, we only got two minutes. Come on, Lane, work the plane. All right, this is all carbon fiber. It's got thunder power batteries. It's got an XC motor. It's got high-tech servos. It has two video cameras on it, one forward and one side cam. They fly for about a half an hour and they're used on the laptop by soldiers in Iraq and Afghanistan. The plane is entirely carbon fiber, including the wings.
little bit when I was over in Afghanistan. Uh, had some help over there with some RC stuff. Got a lot of soldiers uh, in the radio control while we were there. We had some help from uh, Traxxas, Flight Power, uh, High Tech, Castle Creations, and Aerotronics. We've got the Bagram RC Club going there now. Uh, down there at my Easy Up, I've got about 50 Bagram RC Club t-shirts. We're uh, selling these uh, for donations for the Fisher House. All proceeds of these t-shirts go to the Fisher House. We've already raised over $3,000 for the Fisher House. Uh, they take care of uh, wounded soldiers and their family. So uh, we've got some down there. We've also got some decals. The donation is uh, pretty much whatever you uh, are willing to contribute, and uh, all that money will go to them. So thank you very much. Don't forget to drop by our website and check out our new RC Star membership program. Great benefits for great flyers. Do that again, Jason. Uh, that aircraft will be ready in 90 days. Reservations only. The one inch scale is not out here flying right now, but it's 40 inches wingspan, 31 inches long. Comes with an Axie 221716. For a touch and go or just a touch? Just a touch. out here, isn't it? My name's Curtis. I'm here with Extreme Flight RC. We have a couple pilots and planes for you. We have Chris Henson is going to be taking off in just a minute. There it is. Chris Henson is the president and owner of Extreme Flight RC. He comes to us from Cumming, Georgia. He's an IMAC pilot and past XFC competitor and a very talented demo pilot. He is flying our 88-inch extra 300. Normally a 50-seat airplane, but today we're flying it on a Hacker A60 ATL with a Genesis i 707 Control on flight power Evo 5012 S. And it's guided with a JR-12X radio. And one thing we're pretty excited about that is, like I said, it's normally a 50cc airplane. It's starting near drop-in conversion to electric. Didn't really have to change anything. We make it over the scoreboard. I think there's still an airplane up on top of that scoreboard. What do you think? Our 300 EXP is a brand new product for us. Flight power, 4 max.